Welcome. My name is Debbie Dashinger. I am super excited to be on this webinar with you today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy life and day to join me and for your interest in this subject. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to show you my face in just a minute, but I just wanted to get some of these logistics down. On this webinar today, you're going to learn myths. We're going to bust some of them. You're going to learn some secrets and basically how to be interviewed on radio and podcasts. And whether you want to be interviewed on media to share your message and your knowledge with more people, or maybe you want to build a presence, you want to be an authority in your field, or you've written a book, or you've launched a business or a product, or you just want to find new ways of being visible for your tribe or community to find you, all of these, this is the right webinar for you to be on. So welcome. I'm going to go through some of the materials quickly, and then at the end, I've got a bonus gift. If you stick around at the end, you will get the gift, and it's going to be between 60 to 75 minutes total, and I also would like to stick around at the end. I may not be able to get to all of your questions, but I'm going to do my best to get to some of them, particularly, obviously, that are akin to this particular subject about being interviewed. So why don't we start where you talk to me in the chat box and just let me know if you can hear me okay to start with. And now if you can see me. So if we are well connected here, let's just adjust that camera and you can see me, I am live with you right now. Um, just send me a chat and I will check there and make sure that we are all connected. Okay, great. So I see that some of you are chatting and thank you for that. Um, Aw, thank you, Michelle. That is so, 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 so sweet. And it's great to see you. Great, Dolores, you can see in here. Patricia, it's so great to have you here. It's been a minute. Yes, to see and hear you. Michelle, thank you for the beautiful compliment. I receive, I receive. Uh, Maureen, yes, great. And you look good, Maureen, I can see you too. Rhonda, yes, and hearing. Okay, fantastic. I always appreciate you checking in because I really do want to stay connected with you. Um, I don't want to lose the fact that you're there and we're doing this together and exploring this subject together. So I'm just gonna bring my mic in. You know, these um, Zoom is such a beautiful, awesome thing. And, you know, I had a moment of gratitude before um, on my walk this morning with my dog for two things. And so I really appreciate that you have interest in the subject because it allows me to come and do a service with you that I think is so important right now. And the gratitude was the download. I wouldn't have had it if I wasn't going to be with you. And first of all, it was for my dog, Shelby. She's been with me for five years. And if I wasn't doing what I am doing as a career, I would not have a lifestyle that would allow me a dog. And she's one of the greatest things in my life. I'm extremely close with her. And so I thank interviews for giving me that, giving me the freedom and the time and the space to have a relationship like that in my life. I also had a lot of gratitude for interviews and it's actually the first time I reflected on it because when COVID hit, and people, my goodness, how many were scrambling, trying to figure out, oh, I'm not speaking on stage anymore. I'm not networking anymore. I'm not going to workshops. All these things we did in person that were no longer available to us. I was like, thank you, God, that I was so deeply uh, for over a decade being interviewed and using media that the shift for me was so minimal. I also was extremely well-versed in Zoom and a lot of technology and microphones and things. I knew what I was doing. So the shift for me did not have the impact that I saw it had on a lot of people and who could have predicted that, right? I could have been sitting at home going, oh, wah, wah, you know, I'm speaking on this many stages, too bad I'm not speaking on more without realizing, you know, the goddess had me exactly where I was supposed to be, knowing exactly what I was supposed to know. So I was well prepared for these times. I want to well prepare you for these times. So you have these skills. We all need them. So again, welcome. I am so excited to have you here with me today. This is the final free webinar on this subject that I'm going to be offering. And the idea that I'm going to reconnect with later is that if you want to connect with other 
coaches, with other speakers, with other authors, entrepreneurs, people who may be influential that you look at from afar and would be very interesting for you to be connected with. And or if you would like to go more deeply into this material, you can get involved with the Ultimate Visibility Formula Group. It's at debbyd.net. I will post it now and um, probably later towards the end in the chat. So you have this and you are welcome to join us there. Definitely check that out. So today we're going to be talking about how to be interviewed on radio and podcast shows. And if you have the calling, if you have the desire, well, you're here, right? What are some of the reasons? Why don't you write that in the chat? What are some of the reasons why you want to learn this skill, what you feel like this will do for you that you do not have right now, whether you have experience or no experience? Is it because you're an entrepreneur, coach, speaker, author, and you don't know the system of being interviewed anytime you want? I understand that. And I understand actually from a lot of entrepreneurs, that's a big pain point. They have a great desire to do this, but I don't really know the system. Or if I knew the system, I know I've been not very good at it because I can sort of get booked on some small shows and I can tell I'm not really getting results because the needle doesn't move. I'm not selling books. I'm not selling workshops. I'm not getting followers. My tribe isn't finding me. Something isn't happening that I don't know what to do. So um, awesome. You are in the right place. And so just write in the chat box, why might you want to be learning these skills? What would it know? Uh, what would it bring to you? And I can tell you that it is possible. All of this is possible through my program. So let's see. It will help me pr promote my book. Well, that's everything. Anybody who has written a book and is an author knows that 5% uh, of any book is writing the book. Of course, I, I'm a book coach too. So 5% of every book is writing a book. 95% uh, of every book is what happens after the book. You must have a marketing plan. It's so important. And so, yes, part of your marketing plan absolutely is being interviewed on radio, media, podcast. And somebody else wrote, looking to improve my skills. That's a beautiful reason. I have several podcasts and book products on the go. You bet. You want the right people to find you so they can find what you do, why you're so unique and beautiful and awesome, and what you offer. Uh, that is everything. Another one, I'm an author and workshop facilitator, so I'm not sure uh, I guess because you're an author, you're looking for ways to connect with your readers and audience. Cross promotion and raising us up all together. Wow, that's great. Okay. And exactly, all, all, all very viable. So I'm curious how many of these sound familiar. And if they do, write it in the chat box like, that's me. Um, because I started out just like you, by the way. So I just want you to know that these are really, um, these are really self-qualifying questions. The question is, how can I get booked on radio and podcast interviews? Is that you? How can I expand my visibility as a go-to expert? How can I learn to articulate my message so it's easy to understand? When I first started teaching these classes, well, I'll tell you my story in a bit, but when I first started teaching these classes, it was... Um, I was just delivering what I knew I needed and what I knew other people needed because I just wanted them to be good when they showed up to do a show. But then down the road, down the pike, I decided to do a survey and I brought in a considerable amount of people because I'm part of a mastermind, a lot of people who are really well-known, successful entrepreneurs out there who also still didn't know how to be interviewed, by the way, were coming on and giving me their time very gracefully. And I was so grateful. One of my questions was like, one of the, what is one of the things you need to know the most? And I couldn't have been more gobsmacked my jaw was on the ground when I heard these people I deemed to be so successful say over and over again, I actually don't know what my message is, or I don't know how to message myself, or if I stand up in a networking meeting, or if I'm interviewed, I don't know how to say what I do in one or two sentences. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's now going to be a part of the course. That's really important. So maybe that's part of articulating your message is a big question mark. Maybe it's about confidence. I can promise you, I know people who are big authors, I've had these clients who have been interviewed 
on platforms, spoken on platforms, and they get in a conversation and all they have is ahs and ums and stumbles that won't fly, especially today, where there are more podcasts than ever before and there are more people wanting to be on podcasts than ever before. Maybe your question is, well, I do this. How can I be interviewed more? How can I have more access? Maybe your question is, how do I use an interview once I've done it? Or maybe your question is, and this one's kind of big, I used to be very guilty of this. I used to be so about giving information that I forgot I was a human being. Have you ever been guilty of that? Like you're so busy, like, oh, I better deliver and content is king and all this stuff. And you forget, you know, there's a person in here. What about being vulnerable? What about really positively exposing myself in a way that's, that's probably gonna touch people more than information? What if you are a spiritual entrepreneur or a healer and your subject is consider woo-woo and you have a fear that listeners will just not understand your work or your message because it is, oh, all those old words I abhor like airy fairy and woo-woo. And I feel like um, we are the people we've all been looking for right now. So there are very wonderful ways to get those translated and be very confident and successful in your messaging. What if it's about being interviewed and you're fearing, uh, what if I'm not prepared? What if I'm really not coached and I freeze or I fudge or I totally bomb? And if that happens, how do I recover? There's actually tricks and tips for that. What about being concerned that you don't know how to make the most out of an opportunity when you're being interviewed on a terrific show? So you have this great opportunity and then what do I do with it? How do I make something out of it? Is there a way to repurpose it? And maybe, maybe, maybe you're one of those people who just sits back and goes, interviews sound great, but can I actually do this? Am I even built for this? So I'll just take a look at your chats want to connect with you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, not happy with how you're showing up in interviews. That's, by the way, the majority of people. And you know, and it's perfect. We, we all know that, you know, there's that saying out there, there's so, people become parents and they've never gotten training, right? They just suddenly have kids and it's like, well, how do I figure this out on the fly? And it's like, honestly, it, we don't know what we don't know about anything in our life. We, we didn't go, most of us, through college or through any kind of training except what I'm offering now and have somebody say, you know what, let me teach you how to do this. So your, your usage of time and attention and energy has great ROI, has a great results for you on the other end. So if those are familiar you're in the right place, been there, done that. So myth busting, in today's webinar, I'm gonna be talking about three myths about visibility. And I really feel like that's what I do out in the world. I run a visibility hub. I, I'm a book writing coach. I then take people's books to a guaranteed international bestseller. And I show them how to get interviewed on radio and podcasts so they don't have to hire someone very expensive and they have this entire system. Visibility is viral. It works on your behalf. We do the work in the beginning just to get noticed, just to get booked on. And then suddenly it takes on a life force of its own. It's so beautiful. I am a living example of it today. I don't have to work for any interview. I don't have to actually ask for any interview. If I did a launch, I would probably do a little bit of work, but not much. It's very easy for me. And frankly, I built so many relationships through being interviewed that I can call I can just reach out to people. And so it is for my clients. And so it can be for you too. So we want to bust some of these things out of the gate. And we're also going to be talking about three secrets that you need to know that are going to give you a lot of massive confidence in getting started and ways that you will benefit from being interviewed. So I want to take you behind the curtain. I want to introduce you to the Ultimate Visibility Formula Program. I'm definitely going to give you a lot of practical, applicable information. and. These are things that you can do in your business, in your marketing, in your promotion right now. And I also want to be very upfront because 60 to 75 minutes, right? <laughs> uh, we can only do what we can do. So if you are looking for something more, and I'm going to tell you about it, an action plan later on so you can have access to it, right? Naturally, I would never leave you hanging if you're interested in going deeper. So again, at the end, free bonus gift, and I'll be answering some Q&A. And the bonus gift is a checklist. 
And I think I'll talk about that right now because there's some great clues in what I'm going to be talking about why the checklist is so awesome. It is a podcast booking checklist. And it is a beautiful thing because it in one place contains everything you know. Many people who are interviewed find that right before the interview, they go into a panic. And panic is about the worst way you can go into any kind of interview. Actually, what you want to be is very calm and present, very connecting with the host. So why a podcast booking sheet is beautiful is if if you get booked on something, Vink, you can pull up your sheet and say, okay, here's the host name. Here's the URL or link or how they're going to connect with me or I'm going to connect with them. This is how long the show is. This is the subject of the show. This is what their audience is about. This is, it has every piece of information. So you don't, don't even have to go crazy through your computer going, oh my God, where's all the information about the show I'm going to be on? Who am I being interviewed? What's their name? Is it 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Do they have advertisements? You know, do they have listener call-ins? All the stuff that can make us like, oh, the worst condition, right? So this uh, booking sheet is my gift to you and, and my thank you for coming to join and for being interested in this subject and for putting your brilliance out in the world through being interviewed. I also know that we all have a lot going on. So I'm going to ask you kindly, friendly, but very strongly to please shut down your social media. Please close down Facebook. Please turn off, well, not Maureen, of course. <laughs> Please turn off your cell phone unless you're on it watching and listening <laughs> and log out of your emails because I am telling you, working with my students the past week, the one word that came up is distractions. I don't want you to be distracted at all today. I wanna be able to deliver what I promised. And if I'm going to deliver it, I do need your attention. And if you don't mind, just write in the chat right now, I am alive and well, or I'm shutting things down to be with you. I am fully present. Whatever resonates for you, just type to me. So I know for the next hour, we are accordingly going to be spending some really quality time together. So yay, 100% here. Hi. So beautiful to see all of you. Yes, all here with you. Thank you so much. Beautiful. And I am fully here with you as well. So I'll tell you my story so you understand why me and uh, why I do the work I do. Um, one of the people who's here in the audience today is a college friend of mine. And, and that just you know warms my heart because we know each other since we're 18, since we're babies. And so we've really seen each other grow and and go into our respective careers and, and other careers, right? And that's my story. I basically, I start, I did most of my life, honestly, I came out of the womb singing and acting. It's all I ever wanted to do. It's what I do, did as a kid. I was sent away to summer stock. I know this is gonna sound amazing, but I was five years old when I went to my first summer camp. It's a true story. And I can still tell you the, the outfit, I got dressed up as a queen. They carried me on a pillow and the little crown. And like being on stage, being in front of a microphone, living out loud, having a message, somehow connecting with masses has always been important. And I did this uh, well into my adulthood, well, well, well into my adulthood. And then something started to change that was very strange to me because it is the only thing I'd ever wanted in my life. And that was so scary. How do you have this complete identity as an actress? I think, um, I think the business wore me down, you know, working, 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 making money, making money, and then phew, nothing. And that nothing was horrible. It was tough to pay bills. It was tough uh, to go on a vacation. Um, I felt like my life was so unpredictable. So I think it exhausted me. And at the same time, when I worked in the many months or whatever the long extended period of time where I was doing well, you know, then I was in my glory. I'm so creative that when I wasn't working, it, mostly it really hurt my heart because I wasn't able to be creative, artistic, and expressive. And I needed that constantly. And so I I decided to let go because I didn't know what else to do. And literally for three years, if someone had said it's going to be three years, I would have been like, <laughs> but I didn't know it was going to be three years. I just surrendered. And I said, you know, show me, like, show me God, goddess, what is mine to do? Because I don't know. And the only thing I understood to do 
was to follow energy. This feels right. This feels light. None of them became my career, but they all contributed to my career. I was so grateful. I became a singer in a big band and a jazz band. And I did that for a very long time and made money. I started making jewelry. And all of a sudden in a month, I had a business and I was selling in stores for five years. I started speaking and doing, um, after doing Toastmasters, I started speaking all around Los Angeles and I love that. And most importantly, uh, while I was speaking, a friend of mine who's a producer recommended me for a cartoon. And I got something from the director saying, you were recommended, many actresses were recommended. We haven't been able to place this one part. It was actually supposed to be done by Patricia Heaton and she had um, some contract problems so she couldn't get out of something. So they were in a hitch and they said, someone recommended you, will you interview? Well, I had never interviewed, I had never auditioned for a cartoon, but I wasn't gonna tell anybody. So I said, yes. And they sent me the script. I read it, I fell in love with it. I auditioned and nobody laughed. And I said, this is a bad sign because this is a very mean character, but I knew enough to play opposites. And I said, please, please, I have another read because I knew they were going to hang up and I was never going to hear from them again. Please, I have another read. And I went completely out on a limb. I did something they told me nobody else had ever done. I did a Black Southern woman so I could get away with being mean because I think Southern people can say very dripping things like, bless her heart, and they're saying terrible things. So I just went for it and they were rolling and they said nobody had done a read like that. And I got the part. Then they found out that I sang and I got that. They didn't have to hire a singer and I got that money too. And I went, I love cartoons. I want to do more with my voice. And I got an agent who was sending me out constantly, but not for cartoons. And that's all I wanted to do. I was getting very dry narration. And if it's not fun, I can't do it. And then I saw something for radio. So radio, I got the job. Started doing a show, Dare to Dream, over 13 years ago, still doing it, award-winning show. Then I wanted to reach more people, started writing books, started becoming an international bestseller. And all of a sudden radio people are coming to me and saying, you're an expert, I'd like to interview you. Cool, I thought this will be easy. I know how to do this, I'm on air all the time. And you know what, I was terrible. I know because I listened back and I was mortified. So I decided if this was to be my path, I better learn how to do it. And I went out on a mission. I learned everything. I invested in courses. I researched like crazy and everything from material to listening and listening and listening. What works? Why did that work? Why didn't that work? And I started culling together material. Then I started going out in the world and being interviewed and like, let's play with this. Let's see what works. Let's see what hits. And all of a sudden there was a change. I could hear from the replays, aha, I am getting better and better and better and better. And then I could see outside in the world, people were reaching out. I understand you do this. Can I work with you? And starting to follow me on my podcast more and starting to invite me to collaborate and speak. And all of a sudden this world started opening up, but it wasn't enough. I wanted to find out more. So I went to my clients that I was working with and I said, listen, I have this system. Will you be a beta tester? I'd like to see how it works with you or if it works for you. So I taught them the system and sure enough to a man and a woman, everyone was coming back and going, oh my God. And sometimes even people were going out for their first interview and coming back and saying, the producer invited me back. He thought I was like an old hand at this. So this stuff worked. I opened the doors. I had so many people saying, I want to, I noticed you're doing something. I'd like to learn it. Ta-da. So the business was born 11 years ago. And of course it's changed because technology has changed because back then there was no podcast. So, so much has changed. So I overcame the overwhelm to learn exactly what a podcast or a radio show wanted to know. And I needed to know what would make me seem like a compelling guest for them. I then needed to learn how to behave and what to bring to the actual interview because I wanted to feel relaxed and confident. And I also understood that this, for me to be a host, was really different than this for me to be a guest. Completely different set of principles. So I had to get very exceptional at both. And I wanted to provide the host and the audience with a really wonderful segment I wanted them to enjoy it. I wanted them to ask me back or recommend me. I wanted to create relationships. 
And I wanted to obviously get results because with anything we do in life, if we're going to use our time, we want it to be for benefit. And so that's how I got here today. And I swore nobody's going to suffer that neglect, that ignorance, that unawareness of, oh, this easily translate. Oh, I can do this. And then poof, was I bombing? I wanted people to know you're special. I want you to know that you are here to shine and that you do have a message. You do have a piece of the puzzle here on earth and it is important to hear. And I do want you to know that you can be interviewed and it can be easy and you can feel very savvy while it's going on. So that is my message to you that honestly, if I can do it, you can do it. And let's talk about some of the things that help me get started, that help me succeed in this and my clients too. The first thing is I said, yeah, yes, yes to opportunities, right? Opportunities to further my skills and my career. I did, as I said earlier, invested in my growth. I was open to learning different skills. Okay, if I want this and I don't know how to do this or it's clear I'm trying and it's not working, what else is possible here? The other thing is um, back then when I invested, it was a lot of money for me. It was a course of $5,000. It had to do with broadcast and it was a live training in Hollywood. And I learned a ton, like what I wasn't getting in my research, I was able to get there. What I also saw was the return and investment that I got that was very quick and that this entire career trajectory got changed definitely for the better. And, you know, it's beautiful to sort of um, close the loop on that story is when I let go of my career as an actress and a singer, I didn't know what I know today is that, you know, God is so good. Goddess is so good. I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. I have zero regrets. Everything I learned was a contribution to who I am today. And if you had told me back then, ah. Uh, you're going to end up on air. You're going to have an award-winning show. You're going to be an international best-selling author. You're going to be a credentialed coach. You're going to, I would feel like, oh, you're in crack. Like I, I would have not recognized those aspirations, but going on this journey opened all of that to me. And part of that was being interviewed. So the second thing I did was I joined a group. I was accountable to success. Boy, if there's one thing I can tell you that has changed my life and certainly my clients, it's being accountable. It's saying, okay, I want newfound skills. I want to be responsible for what I say I want to create and who I know I want to be. You can build a network and it can change your career. And you can, much like what I said earlier, if I came to live here out loud, so can you. And because I was an interview, excuse me, because I was interviewed and because my clients had been interviewed, I became known as an expert. I found that amazing. This is really even before a lot of that word was used. It's like, oh, okay, this is kind of awesome. <laughs> I'm going to own that, right? And then suddenly I'm being invited to speak and I'm writing books and I'm doing telesummits and I'm uh, doing multiple collaborations and I'm building my database and there are people who are knowing about me and I'm getting hired for things. And I, I just found all of this fascinating, like, wow, to be able to do this thing well um, and create this viral visibility is, this is very beneficial. And so it is about the gigs and the collaborations and the clients and the selling books and the launches going well and building your tribe, right? For all of us. So uh, and then when I was building my course, Ultimate Visibility Formula, I recognized this, this could be massive and it's an online program. However, I wanted to know I could work with 20 people only a year because I really wanted to be able to engage with people and do the coaching with them. So when they went out in the world, we had uh, become close. You know, I knew who they were and what they were capable of and that they came in one way and left fully confident. So another byproduct of my being interviewed is the people I've gotten to meet over time. You know, I've hung out with Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. I mean, he's, he's amazing and he's hilarious too. As well as Mike Rowe, if you know him, he's a TV host of Somebody's Gotta Do It on CNN and the Discovery Channel. Uh, the three tenors have sung Hallelujah to me. It's a true story and they sung it right only to me, I was cavelling. I thought I was gonna, that was deep and beautiful. Um, I become friends and colleagues with people. I noticed from afar and dreamed of, oh, you know, if I could be friends with that influencer and they are part of my circle today. 
I have a solid career. I have the time to pursue the things that I love outside of the work, the travel, the singing, the camping, my dogs, my significant other, my friends, being a certified wine specialist. All of that's important to me and more. So if you could get those results right now, or there may be other results that you prefer and you'd be happy about that, just write that in the chat. Let me know you'd be happy having interviews up and up, open up your world and some really yummy possibilities. So just let me know you're still here and how being interviewed would be for you so I can read those. Okay. Ha, <laughs> beautiful. Okay, okay, beautiful, thank you, thank you. Yeah, love sharing knowledge, totally, and experience. It's, yeah, me too. And, um, and it's so helpful to people. It's such a game changer. And I love that you said that um, and expand my reach as an influencer, you bet. And so you deserve that. I love the sharing knowledge and experience comment because um, we all, what I say is everybody could talk about the same thing. So let's say 15 people could be interviewed about money, but guess what? You know something about money that nobody else knows. So that's what I want to hear. What is your unique perspective? Wish to share my message. You must, you must. And I know this person, so I know you must share your message. It's that important. So there are people I've worked with. I'm just going to share, I think, two or three very quick uh, testimonies because I want you to know what's possible when you go there. This is from Jennifer Weber, best-selling author, spiritual teacher, and life coach. She said, when it came to submitting myself for podcasts, I was at a complete loss. I didn't know what to say to the hosts or how to reach out to them and sound professional or even what to include in the email. Debbie's course was was beyond my expectations. Not only do I feel very confident in reaching out to podcast hosts, but I also know I'm coming across very professional and polished. In addition, I found my deeper purpose. I was playing small and not revealing all of my gifts, gifts and strengths for fear of being judged. Thanks for your encouragement. You're welcome. What a gift Debbie has given to show me my higher self and accept nothing less. I've also connected with amazing people through this course. I'm now speaking on many podcasts and feeling more and more confident in what I'm here to do in the process. This is somebody who's amazing and grew wings and flew. This is from Dr. Michael Gross. I just finished the Ultimate Visibility Formula course with Debbie. She is thorough and does an outstanding job preparing you to obtain and properly speak on podcasts. She is the best of the best. I rate her five out of five stars. I haven't read these since they came in um, so, so some time ago last year. So this is sweet. And this is from Susie Pruden. Debbie, you are a delightful presenter and teacher. Your caring so comes through and we all receive major benefit from learning your interview system and guidance. You are a gift to your students uh, with your genius. Thank you. Really nice. So let's get into a little bit. And David, thank you for your gorgeous comment. I appreciate that. We're going to get into, I, I love statistics. I love, I love the science behind things. I love to learn. I love when I know the truth in my heart, in my gut, but also I like backup. I like backup material. So I would like to provide you with some backup material. And here's some amazing statistics that over 55% of the U.S. population listens to podcasts. Now in 2020, over 155 million people listen to a podcast every week. I want you to hear the statistics I'm saying. And while I say them, thinking, uh, think about you being an interview guest, what do these statistics mean for you in meeting new people and audiences you would never meet? I gotta say, because having gratitude is great. So we could also look at the silver linings of what happens with podcasts. Yes, we could, with COVID, excuse me. We could say a lot of things about, oh, COVID this, COVID that. God bless, you bet. But also with everything inherent are blessings. One of these blessings is if you were speaking on stage, you tell me, could you hit this many people? No way. Around 24% of the US population, that's 68 million people listen to podcasts weekly. Podcast listeners consume an average of seven different shows every week. Wow. There are over 
700,000 active podcasts and 29 million podcast episode available. And guess what? I'm going to bring you up to date on that statistic because every week that statistic changes. As of right now, when we are together, there are over 1 million podcasts, active podcasts. And um, so it goes on and on. It is so beautiful, so exciting. And the thing about going viral too is it does change your business. What does getting free PR and promotion, being interviewed on radio and podcasts as often as you like, what could it mean to you in your business? Having relationships with media influencers allow you. It's not a rhetorical question. I really want you to chat, think about it. What if you were visible instead of being the best kept secret? What would having a distinguished and unique media presence allow you to do that you can't possibly? So I'm going to share a screen with you and show you something. And the idea and the intention of this is I'm going to show you a magazine article. And this is um, from last week. And this is Shout Out LA. It is a magazine in here in Los Angeles where I live. And, you know, I don't know anymore how people find me because, as I said, being visible takes on a life of its own. It takes a little bit of work in the beginning, but once you're out there, you're out there. So this is me. Um, this is the story about me. You can see right here the date when it came out. And uh, hopefully, there we go. It'll pull up. And it's a beautiful article all about me. I mean, I loved the question, why did I pursue a creative career? And there's all these yummy pictures that they were so kind to find about me. I'm sorry, I'm going so fast, but I just want the point to be there. I didn't work for this. I didn't do anything for this. I had somebody else reach out to me um, who has 29 million for his newspaper, different than a magazine. And he also, um, he, we're having a collaboration. He knows about me, he's watched my work, he's followed my interviews, and he wants he wants to know more, and he wants to see what's possible. Now, this is somebody I've not developed a relationship with yet, and uh, still found me, and we're pursuing this. So we'll see where that goes. But this is, this is the life I lead, this is the life you can lead. Why can't it be you? What is the issue, right? Because you absolutely can be the authority due to your visibility. You can allow your interview visibility to ensure you are successful and profitable while having fun, while creating more media spots, when or if you want, right? So if you follow what I'll be sharing with you, ultimately you're gonna achieve these results. But let me be clear again, I'm gonna teach you what I can here. And anyone who just says, oh, super easy, you know, I don't need to put in work, that's not true, right? Um, it's like any dream right? We have to follow the pieces of our business and put some work into it. So let me give you some practical things. And just say when I when so that you're not scared off too much, but so that you have some context for it. You know, a hairdresser goes to cosmetology school for about 1500 hours before they even go out there just to learn how to cut hair. A photographer puts in two years, at least in school, just to become a professional photographer. So when we learn new skills, when we change our habits and get amazing results, we have to agree. One hour training, just the starting point. So just type in there, I agree, you get it, right? We're just on a lifelong journey of using the ultimate visibility. So are you all ready to get started? If so, just type in, I'm ready. Let this training begin. Thank you, thank you. Beautiful, I'm ready too. So three myths that just, that just ain't true. Let's bust this right out of the gate. The first one is you have to be well-known or you have to have a big mailing list to succeed with media interviews. This, I am happy to say, is not true. Number two. You have to hire an expensive publicity wizard to be able to schedule consistent radio and podcast interviews. That is something that really holds people back, but this is definitely not true. I teach you how to be your own publicity agent. So you have the whole system, oh, so much freedom. And number three, you have to know everything about your subject before you're interviewed. Simply not true. That 
many people feel like, well, what if I don't know how to answer somebody's question, uh, the host question? Nope, not true. None of those are true, all myths. Those are massive mistakes that leaders make and they stop them from using media. So let's talk more about that. So the first massive mistake is about systems, when people don't have a system in place. And in this case, of course, we're talking about an interview, a media interview system, knowing how to get the show's attention, where the right shows are, what do you do when they book you? How do you act when you show up? How do you conduct a great interview? What do you do afterwards? Let's talk about the beginning, just getting booked and noticed, right? So many people don't know the right procedure and then they come across as an amateur. So what I'm going to do is show you, I'm gonna share a screen with you and show you something I don't ever want you to do. Here we go. Now I've blocked out their name. <laughs> Got this on LinkedIn. And so this, oh, sorry. Oh, well, sorry, human. I'll do a better job of blocking their name, but just pretend you don't know who they are. I've changed her name to protect the innocent. This person wrote to me, I want to start by saying, I've never met her before. I have no relationship with her at all. Next, she said, I would love to be a guest on your podcast in general. This isn't true for everybody, but almost anybody who's got a decent to large show will not be able to respond to you on social media or professional media like LinkedIn. It's just too much. I, there's no breadcrumbs. And I'm not going to send people all the stuff I need for my show and ask them to send me their bio and headshot like on LinkedIn. That's crazy. That's like way too much work. So this person wrote nothing except, wow, congrats, Debbie. I would love to be a guest in your podcast. Let me know if I'd be a good fit. Excuse me? So this person is basically saying, you don't know me from Adam, but I'm going to lay on you that you go out there and research who I am what I do, why I'm compelling, and what I bring to your audience, never gonna happen. Please do not ever do that. Please do not waste your time or anybody else's. It will not come to good things. <laughs> and good things are getting booked. We want you to get booked. So why? Because we're all inundated. We, as hosts, we are so inundated doing what we do, it's busy. We don't have time to hold anyone's hands. We receive so many requests. I'm 13 plus years on air, right? So, sorry, Randy, I can't do that. Uh, we don't have time to hold anyone's hand. We request, uh, get requests from people, individuals, agents, publicity houses, um, also um, book places, you know, my client's book, blah, blah, blah. Here's another thing. We have nurtured our listeners to grow our show. It is my priority that I take care of moi first. It's my show. I got to love my show. I got to enjoy the conversation and how curious I feel and how like it changes my world. And if it does that for me, it's going to do that for my listeners. I got to provide good content. So let's talk about some actionable solutions. I had a fellow named Frank come to me. Uh, he wanted to be coached privately on interviews. And before he just booked me on the phone, we set up our first appointments. And before we hung up, Frank said, oh, and by the way, I don't really believe in all of this. So I'll be curious to see what you can do for me. I'm like, you don't believe in all of what? And he said, oh, I don't believe that this interview thing works. And I said, wow, why would you say that? Because that's definitely not my experience. And he said, because... I sent out to 10 different podcasts and I didn't hear from anyone. Nobody booked me. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking bubble over my head. There's only one person that was in common in that party in all 10 of them. That was Frank. So I said, tell you what, send me what you send to all these podcast hosts and let's start there. So absolutely. Frank did something not as horrific as what this person did on LinkedIn or what I've seen on Facebook. God, it's a social media. It's a friend media. Why are people pitching you on Facebook? It rarely works. So I look at what he sends and he basically says, dear host, my name is Frank. I wrote this book. I'm doing a launch. I'd like you to support me. I'd like to be a guest. Oh, okay. That's really compelling. That tells me you don't know anything about me or my show. It did not just develop a warm relationship. It's all about you. And then he says, um, and you know, 
If you'd like to know more, here's my website. Again, somebody who's telling me to do all the work. No, no, no. You do all the work in your pitch letter. So poor Frank, that's where we started. But let me tell you, we overhauled his website. We got him a press media tab. We got him a pre professional press media kit. We got him a terrific headshot. We wrote a killer pitch letter. I say we, but it was me and him working together. We started to know the shows. It's not just about reaching out to the shows, but are you a fit for the show? Um, instead of taking the wrong approach, he had the right approach because we did the research ahead of time. And guess what happened to Frank? Frank started getting Getting booked, 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 because it was so easy to say yes to him. So we want to know that you are a yes when we send you out there. Have your systems in place. Bring us as hosts in so we can easily say yes to an interview. We don't want you to repel us, right? So do it the right way. Massive mistake number two, operations. And this is where people appear very milk e toast, right? Um, they're not memorable. They don't stand out. They're not unique or fierce, right? So it's like with any subject, what are you going to bring to the table? And if the host asks you a question, go there, deep dive, like let us in. You know, you've all listened to podcasts. And if you haven't, start doing your homework. You know, when somebody's an amazing guest, I do it too. I'm in the business and I, I just did it. My boyfriend and I are buying somebody's book and program and ta da da that we just heard. We like, I'm, I'm so amazed at this guy and what he teaches, right? It's not even in my field, but I'm very excited about his information. Bring something new. That's what we want. That's why people will follow you when you make an impression, when you compel them to want to work with you. Be entertaining, be interesting, be polarizing. Tell me something new for good conversation. How? Illustrate your point. Use a story or a statistic. Use brevity. Be very brief. Don't go on too long. And that's a lot of good back and forth conversation. Provide value and content. Now, if you've written a book, your book can get you on a show, but your book cannot be the entire show's conversation. It is what allows the conversation to open so that the show's host can ask questions and interact, right? So, you know, and also don't get too salesy. So we'll buy because we love you, not because you need to sell to us. And that's true with everything, right? Number one massive mistake, self-sabotage. The biggest mistake that leaders make is not getting the visibility training. You know, PR is free. You can make back money once you're out there. It's a 401k plan, right? You invest in yourself and you always get it back when you start getting known. So what you put in comes back quickly, virally, PR, media, interviews, they offer exposure, clients, followers, sales, fill workshops. Think about these statistics. Now I'm going to talk about a really small show, not my show, but if you were to go on a small show that let's say had 1000 listeners, these were 1000 listeners or viewers you've never met before. Just think about those numbers. You wouldn't get those if you spoke on stage unless you were getting into a big stadium or a Tony Robbins. Now, let's say you did 10 interviews a month at 1,000 small shows. And by the way, sometimes smaller shows can have a very active audience that are engaged and buy. I didn't say a new show with no followers, but an engaged audience. 10 shows, 1,000 listeners, you've never met them before, they've never met you, and then all of a sudden, kismet, you find each other. That's 10,000 brand new people who are now aware of you and you've brought into your world. What if you did that every month? If anyone's good at numbers, you can write that number here. <laughs> I'm not great at math. So 12 times 10,000. Oh, okay, it's 120,000. There you go. I went to USC. I can manage this. Okay. <laughs> so you see the numbers. And what if you kept this going? Now, it doesn't mean you want to keep this consistently because often when we do a launch, we'll do more. And maybe, you know, we're on vacation and want a little time off. That's all good. The numbers work out. You're still getting in front of people's ears and eyeballs who have never seen you, met you before, and suddenly know you like you, trust you. Why? So many leaders and entrepreneurs work so hard. They're not known. They're not thought of as a go-to expert or an authority in their field. That's got to change. That's got to change. You've worked too hard to know what you do. So when people implement media interviews, 
they can fly or they can end up blocking their own success. Don't miss this amazing tool of free PR and media interviews. Find the right shows. This is super important. Find the right shows, find the right audiences for your niche and your message, right? It'll make everything so much easier. Um, I've had clients who have come to me. Uh, they started out, boy, we're in the, they are in the wrong um right industry, but presenting to the wrong industry. And when we righted their ship, everything changed, right? All their results changed. And how about, who knows Oprah Winfrey, right? Ever heard of the Kardashians? How about Warren Buffett? All of these people that you see being interviewed on television and on radio and in magazines, trust me, I know personally, they did not just suddenly start step up to mic and they're awesome and they flow. They all had media training and that's why they're so amazing at what they do. Media coaching is so important. You want to control your story or somebody else will. You want to know how to message yourself. Good messaging skills translate to other visible mediums like networking, like parties, like Anytime you're introduced or speaking from stage, your gifts are definitely meant to be shared. Shine your light. You have something you know we need. So we need to let people know what we do, what we stand for, who we stand for, and how we stand out. So we need to avoid those massive mistakes. And sometimes I run across people say, I'm going to figure out how to be interviewed when I have time. But you know, that's like whenever. And you know what five eighths of whenever is? It's never, right? So exactly never. So my point is this, people who can't sit still, sit still long enough to invite in big visibility, they're just gonna keep running, doing what they're doing, getting the same results, not generating a strategic plan to move ahead. It's just working too hard for too little results. And if you are a professional, you want to be visible. Otherwise, why are you in business? You want people to see and hear you. Otherwise, why are you in business? If you are not being visible, then how does your community or the world ever find you? Then they miss out on your book and your business. And we want them to know it exists. So we all require a plan to generate visibility and a strategy how to execute it. So let's talk about the topic of the secrets, right? What are the secrets so that you can be successful at this? So the first thing I want to tell you about is I really want to get booked on interviews, but I don't know how, and I am frustrated. I want to successfully be asked to be interviewed, but I don't know what to prepare, how to submit myself, how to show up, how to do a great interview, what to do after the interview is done. I had a client by the name of Jill. She was a hip hypnotherapist. Um, she's one of my very early, early clients. And she's still to this day, she's Canadian, she gives me credit. And, um, and it, it's, you know, heartfelt, because she a big personality, very gifted. And she came to me and said, I know something's not working. And I don't know what's not working. Uh, we agreed to work together, I was going to coach her. And I, I if someone has material, I like to hear that first. So she sent me an interview and I could hear how terribly awkward she was being interviewed. Uh, God bless, right? She meant so well, her heart was in the right place, but she laughed uh, at awkward moments. Um, she was trying to please a lot. Uh, she wasn't very present. Um, she was sort of all over the map. What you could feel and what was interesting for hypnotherapists is you could feel the anxiety, right? So that is the first place we had to start because she had everything else going for her, but it was the part about when she was being interviewed, the nervousness, the insecurity, and just being ignorant about the interview process. So we worked through that for a couple of weeks. And then I always like to throw my people out there and like, you're ready. No, I'm not. Yes, you're more ready than you know. And then what excites the pants off of me is my client will go out there, we'll do an interview and they'll come back and like everybody, right? You're, you're scared, you're scared, you're scared. The mic goes on and all of a sudden you're like, there's a part of you sort of watching you going, I'm doing really good at this. 
I actually got this. What was I so afraid of? And she came back and is like champagne, right? And caviar. She was so excited. So now she has a growing business. Now she's getting the message out to the world. The obstacles are gone because she is very confident and able to talk about what she does, how she helps people, add in stories and statistics, um, help people even do a little bit of hypno fun exercises during the show. I mean, she made it really fun. She was being asked back and now she's got this beautiful career. This is like at least a decade ago. So the number one question is for you, and I am asking you this, why? Why do you wanna be interviewed on radio and podcasts? And media, because it leads to that anyway. Why do you wanna be interviewed? Is it because you want to craft your message? Do you want to travel more and collaborate and work with world-class experts? What is your reason? So just type that there and write in, what's your reason for being visible, from being an interview guest on podcasts and let me know. <laughs> so okay beautiful okay great so ultimately the most important reason that you should want to be interviewed on radio and podcasts is you're passionate about being known as an expert that you want to build real relationships that you want to find the best way to leverage leverage opportunities to expand into other visible business growing opportunities. And you wanna leave behind the overwhelm and the burnout. So here's a success tip. While you are on the radio or on podcasts to promote your books, your message, your business, your being, or your products, be sure to provide entertaining content for the listening audience. Now your book is gonna get you on the show, but you have to have something interesting to say. I had a woman who came to me by the name of Jennifer. She was a single widowed mom, young, of two young boys, and she'd written a book. And she came to me and said, I don't know why I'm guided to work with you because I, I really don't have money, but man, I'm taking a leap. Uh, at the time, now this is a long time ago, right now in um, Los Angeles, the price for a publicist to get us booked is between five to 10 grand a month and there's no guarantee. Back then, Jennifer was paying 3,500. I know because it was part of the emails back and forth. And she said, I, don't, I can't even afford this person anymore. And they're not getting me gigs. Like I'm, I'm not happy. So I'm gonna invest in you. I'm gonna work with you like, you know, was a Hail Mary for her. And I'm super glad she did because oh, what we worked on was exactly that. You know, her story was a, um, a painful one about the death of her husband and how it came and, and how she changed because of it. And it also was a great transformational story, but somehow she got so mired into the sadness of the story that there wasn't this arc of a story, a hero heroine journey. There was a lot she had to learn about storytelling. There was a lot she had to learn about connecting with a host, about pulling back, about what she was offering, the content, shifting things around. And we worked on all that. And tra tra tra. By the way, that's the sound of a horse running. Tra tra tra. <laughs> and and so off she was to the races, being interviewed, suddenly getting success. Books are selling, and before you knew it, and this made me so excited. She had TV shows coming to her. Why? Because one of the producers heard her on an interview and said, "What an amazing story!" And she sent me pictures of her from the set of a morning TV show. And she wrote to me, and this was so beautiful. It's really meaningful because when I say you guys have a message and I love to see you fly, I, I get very proud when I see your success. It is meaningful to me. She wrote, before Debbie's VIP media training, uh, private, she did private one day. I had hired a publicist. I was paying, oh, 3,200 a month. I couldn't afford it anymore, and I was trying to handle their job, which did not go so well. Now I am successfully booking and appearing on media programs, lots of them. Thank you so much, which was awesome too. Young mother, two uh, young children, and so we want to see her be successful. Success tip number two, host value brevity. Do not wax on. 
When someone asks you a question, we should not be looking at our watch and saying 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, 20 minutes later, no bueno. We will be very unhappy with you if you pirate and hijack our show and we'll be bored, right? It's like a buffet. If you go to a buffet, it's not my favorite thing, by the way, a buffet. It's a little overwhelming, all that food. But I will say that I'm very clear if I go to a buffet, I always look over everything that's available because I don't have a, I love to eat, love, love, love. I just don't have a big stomach or capacity. I, will, I wish it was bigger, but I know that if I go to a buffet, I'm only going to be able to eat that much. And so I want it to be like the most awesome food. So first of all, if there's seafood there, I'm probably going to get that first because I love seafood and I love seaweed and like there's things I love I'm going to look for. And so if I also eat as much as I know until I'm satiated, I'm going to leave that meal and be so happy and have such a good memory of it. But if I go, right, and back and back and back and eat and eat and eat, I mean, it may have tasted good in the beginning, but somewhere in the middle to the end, I'm going to be so beside myself and so uncomfortable and miserable. And I'll have a really bad memory of that meal. And it is so much like that with an interview as a guest. You want to keep your comments brief. Allow the host to ask more questions. Do not, like overeating, do not overgive so much information that we tune out as an audience. Take a breath. Allow silence. I had a gentleman by the name of Danny who came to me, worked for the IRS. He went from dry and boring to fascinating and in demand. He came to me and said, I'm being interviewed on morning drive time. Uh, but I'm clearly not doing a good job, but I'm, I'm just not clear what I'm not doing. So I listened and was like, he was right. I got it. And then we worked together. Um, and Danny, I still adore him to this day because every so often, like if I put out for this webinar, he'll pop up on Facebook, or whatever, and say, oh, I did Debbie's class. She changed my life. La la. I was speaking I was speaking um, in Los Angeles and there he was in the audience. He must've gotten the newsletter, been on whatever these, whomever these people were. And there he was, you know, one of my students. And he came up to me after I spoke and it was awesome to hug him and see him. And he said, I was just on radio and I brought this and he brought it to me in a little drive and I got to listen to it. And there he was with his bad self on morning radio in Los Angeles at IRS. He's great for tax time, right? He's a CPA. He was giving out perfect tips, things I never knew that I thought, oh my God, I better pay attention to this. This is great information. So, so important. Keep it brief, be entertaining, deliver a great interview. Tip number three, remember listeners channel surf. According to statistics, the average listener listens only in 20 minute segments. They can flip around. So be an attention grabber, right? You want to make sure that you do these things, those are the massive mistakes that leaders make. Don't make them, now you know. So the next question to ask yourself is, who do I wanna to speak to while I'm being interviewed? You can't be an interview guest for everybody, right? You wanna be really clear what is your niche and then what? What is it that you wanna be interviewed about? So be generous with what you teach. Refer to your mes message or method that you're offering that's different and these are fundamentals. If you will do these with your topic and be very clear and very simple and concise, you can do very well. So how are you guys doing? Just type in the chat. Are you doing all right? Are you learning something? Are you? Yes, to have it be easy due to COVID restriction. Exactly. That's why learning this it makes it so easy, right? When you know how to do this, it's, it's a beautiful thing and you don't have to leave your own home. You do it right here. So cool. You're feeling more confident. Let's keep cruising. So we're clear on the who, what, and where. Next, we need to learn the interview system and then go out there and implement it. Three, always say thank you and cross promote at the end of your show, at the end of your interview. And four, we want to lather, rinse, and repeat because if we keep doing this over and over, we build influencer relationships, we promote our online courses, we launch books and products, businesses, we build our tribes, 
Our community can find us. We create a following. We change people's lives. Rather, lather, rinse, repeat over and over. And remember those numbers, 10,000 a month, 120,000 a year, and it could be more. So let me be clear, you can do this just by using the information in this workshop. And the challenge is there's a lot we haven't even covered and haven't touched on everything that you know or need to know. So I hope you're getting a ton of value out of this. And if you have, if you are, if you're getting value, or if you have questions, type those, let me know. I am I'm looking, I'm reading. So in a few minutes, I'm going to see who stayed here to the end. And I'm going to give you your bonus here in the chat. So definitely write to me in the chat and do stick around in the last couple of minutes and I'll see what kind of questions I can answer. And so was this so far, this time spent together worth your time? Let me know. Because we've covered a lot. We haven't talked about how to pitch yourself to a podcast so you're noticed and booked. We haven't talked about where the shows are so you can easily save yourself that five to 10 publicity agent charge every month. And you can do this yourself. We haven't talked about how to deliver a terrific interview while you're being interviewed that you're proud of and that the audience gets great content from and what to do post-interview, how to follow up, how to find the right shows for your niche. We can't cover everything in an hour, but I'm going to keep going to see how much more I can share with you. So I just want to do a quick exercise with you. And if you don't mind to close your eyes and just take a deep breath. And I want to picture yourself in your mind or picture someone in your mind who has achieved this who navigates interviews in media with ease, who can use being an interview guest anytime for a launch, to stay in touch with potential clients, to meet new influencers, and to share your message. And to see yourself being interviewed and well-received to love this synergy that's created between you and the host and even the audience that you can feel out there. To see that you are developing a name for yourself and you have a successful business. So picture you, that person in your mind. And now I want you to picture the opposite, someone who's struggling with their business. They're feeling invisible, unsure, of their message and not sure what to do next being interviewed. And now open your eyes. What do you think the difference is between the two? You can write that in the chat. What do you think the difference is between the two? Because it's either a lack of opportunity or a lack of knowledge and support. Yeah, totally. Wow, exactly. So you need to know that it's not about the opportunity because everybody here has the same opportunity. There are a lot of opportunities out there. And it's not just about know-how, how to jump in. So we're going to bust that myth right now that you're somehow different. Because if hundreds of people have used this interview system to get booked on in a media very successful, you absolutely can too, unless you're an alien, right? And then I, I can't help you there. But you probably don't need that on your planet anyway. So let's get back to the question. Is the difference between the lack of opportunity or the lack of knowledge and support? Yeah, yes. You betcha. It is about the lack of knowledge and support because we all have the opportunity. Yes, yes, yes. We cannot solve the problem with the same thinking around our business or skills that created that problem. And that's why always an expert coach is so important to work with. Somebody else who's operating at the level that you want to be at, to use their knowledge, to implement it in your life and business, to up-level your skills and go out there. So here's a question. Would you like me to personally tell you where the podcasts are that are right for you and how to easily connect with a show so that you get booked, to know exactly what to do when you're on the show, when it begins, when the mic goes on, and how to follow up and build really important relationships create your best mindset and business ever. Because like I said, I have been where you are and I know what it feels like and I know you can do this, but you just 
need some time. So thank you. Totally worth the time and presence. I am reading in the chat. Thank you. Indeed. I know how you feel. And do you have the time? Do any of us have the time really to figure it all out on our own? So you can use what you've learned here and take it out in the world and have some success. But you're going to run into spots where you have questions or situations and you're just not sure what to do next. So let's talk about why you showed up here today. Because maybe you tried to figure this out on your own and maybe you wanna spend more time in your life pursuing hobbies or enjoying some kind of dream you've kept in your back pocket or share your message and change people's lives. But I'm guessing you'd like to probably spend a whole lot less time wondering how to crack the code to being interviewed and getting results. And that deep down, you know you have the ability to be a great interview guest, a world-class expert and be known for it. So let me be clear, this is not an offer. I am not offering you anything. This is an invitation. I have more to share with you about interviews and to give you a bonus. I am now going to spend a minute or two just inviting you and you know if this is right for you. I only have room for 20 students in the ultimate visibility formula this year. I already have some seats filled. Yes, I can only take 20 because if I don't, I can't work personally with you. And that's important. I need to know that while you're in my class, you're being interviewed because you can bring those interviews and we work on anything that's happening during that time. Wins, challenges, you get coached right there. Everybody who joins gets the entire system plus the coaching, plus the connection with each other, plus the online course, which is worth $2,000. And you also get gifted a $500 value private outside of class session with me. And together we up-level your skills and whatever you need work on for anything around visibility. I'm going to put this in the chat right now. I'm going to ask you to go there and take a look and stay with me. So everything that you need right now is at debbyd.net slash visibility. And I'll just be clear. You'll see how my name is spelled here in the video. You have to spell my name correctly. It's D-E-B-B-I. There is no E. D-E-B-B-I-D dot net slash visibility. And at this wonderful, it's a landing page, and I'm going to offer you to go to the landing page. You'll see what you get, but I'll tell you what you're going to get. Because by the end of the program, you will be interviewed on shows. You will know where the shows are for you. You'll also receive from me a list of shows and contacts so you can start implementing everything we've learned together. You'll have your pitch letter built so you're ready to rock and roll. You're going to have your speaking points so that when people read them, just like I described, we know why you, and it's a yes. How to avoid freezing or fudging, or if you go numb or flub, I'm going to teach you exactly what to do in real time. And also concurrently, how to be incredibly confident during the process instead. You will learn how to be interviewed on radio and podcasts in 60 days or less. What you receive are coaching systems to, and this live with me, to systematize where the shows are and how you can start bringing this into your world consistently. You will get access to the online course. You will have a lifetime access to the Facebook group for support, community, and accountability. You will get a strategy gifted session privately with me alone. You will get publicity templates, prep sheets, press kit examples, and course replays. The total value of this, my dears, is $3,400, which includes everything that I've shown you here. And you can see on the website, it is $997. I have done something special for right now and for getting everybody on their feet at a time when they really need to. And I have taken $400 off of that. So right now, knocking the $400 off, the course is $5. 97. You can pay now at the debbyd.net slash visibility site, or if you would prefer to make payments, we can do that. You will get a year's worth of classes. You'll get the private session. And then instead you can do 247 for just three months. And you can just write to me about that and we'll set that up with you. I know several of you are ready to jump in. 
to join, to take action, and please go ahead and click on the debbyd.net slash visibility. So let me share a little more with you so you understand, and I'll give you a few more tips and your bonus. Dr. Keith Tong was part of my class. This is a testimonial from him and it reads, wow, wow, wow. After taking Debbie's course called The Ultimate Visibility Formula, I was blown away. She had everything mapped out so anyone can do this. If you are a person that needs to get out your brand, market yourself or your business, then this course, The Ultimate Visibility Formula is for you. She provides a detailed step-by-step -step plan and how you should be doing and how you should be doing it. It's the A to Z where once the template is created, everything flows with ease and grace. Debbie puts her heart out for you and goes the extra mile to make sure that what she is teaching lands. Thank you, Debbie, for an astounding experience. And this is from Rene Musaccio who said taking the ultimate visibility course with Debbie Dashinger was one of the best decisions of my life. I've struggled with not only finding my message, but also with how to get that message out into the world. At the conclusion of Debbie's class, I am now confident in knowing what my message is. And even better, I was booked on radio shows and podcasts within a couple of weeks. So I'm going to give you this bonus and I, and I thank you for staying. I do have more, but I do want to also give you the bonus right now as promised. So I'm going to go to my computer and find your sheet. And if you have any questions, here it is. If you have any questions, please go ahead and post them. That is my gift. Thanks so much. Um, Yay, I'm so, so grateful to all of you. And so, yes, this booking sheet is for you to use as you get booked on shows. It will, it's really a game changer. It keeps everything in one place. It's easy and it organizes. So you don't ever have to panic before an interview. As far as the ultimate visibility formula, something further, there is no risk. There is a 15 day, 100% money back guarantee. So if you're wondering, oh my God, is this gonna work? Uh, let me take that even off of your plate. If you don't get results, I don't want your investment. You literally have nothing to lose. If you join the program and for whatever reason you feel like, mm, this is not for me, you email me and within 15 days, I refund every penny, nickel, dime of your investment. So that's never happened. But if it did, I want you to know that is my guarantee. The link is debbyd.net slash visibility. There are some statistics for you. There are currently 1 million active podcasts. Okay. On Apple podcast alone, as of December, 2020, there are 990, let's see, 990,000. So that's 990,000 podcasts. That's a big number on Apple podcasts alone. That's not even the other podcast sites. What does that mean for you? Is there opportunity there for you to be interviewed? Mm, me think so. 75% of people in the US are familiar with the concept of podcasting. And the average listener consumes between six to 11 podcasts during their week. So should you invest in this program? Um, yes, there are only 20 seats. Some of them have been taken and the class starts, right? Next week it begins and we're every other week. So you want to jump in. Last year, the course was 1999. We lowered it down and took off the $400 for those of you attending this. We want you to know that this skill is available to you. We're offering that $400 discount right now, or if you want to make payments, you can, plus the 15-day the fifteen 100% day refund. So this program is really for people who want to be seen as an authority in their field. They want to be interviewed within the course. And right now, when you can no longer travel, when you can't speak on stage, when you can't go to networking events or workshops or anything in person, how are you going to get seen and known? How do you get your message, your business, your being out there? Ultimate Visibility gives you that entire system so you can get these results and allow your community to find you, sell out webinars, books, functions, gain clients, followers, and much more. And so 
here's my message to you at the end, because I want you to be successful. Let go of your need to change the past or frankly, even the present. Let's just love the present exactly as it is, because the past has led you to this moment. Right now with me, all of us together, I'm going to ask you to choose to express love for yourself. Take that in. Put your hand on your heart. Invest in yourself and in your future. Choose to feel powerful and strong because you are already that. It is time for you to shine your light. Why should you learn how to be interviewed? Because everything you've gone through has given you an insight that you have today. And it's going to guide your life. It's given you the ability to share your wisdom. Maybe you're a healer. Maybe you've got some kind of system yourself and you can help others for an easier, more clear direction in your life. It is time for you to shine your light. It is time for you to step into your greatness. And the interview system will show you how to share your unique wisdom using media visibility out into the world and connect with your community and tribe. It is time for you to become more engaged, more focused, more clear, more precise in your efforts. This, my friends, is a new year. This, my friends, is a new you. So as promised, enjoy the bonus that I told you about. And I'm going to end here. I don't see any questions. I love that you wrote that this was totally worth your time. Go ahead, head over to debbyd.net slash visibility. Love to see you there. And thank you all again for spending time, for hanging out with me today. I look forward to working with you in the program. It is such a pleasure. And if you have friends who are right for this and you're excited to also send them, uh, we're going to put out the replay of this in my newsletter. If you're not on my newsletter, let me know. And it's going to go out my newsletter and you can share it with those you know, like, and love. And thank you for joining me.